Hey, you doing? It's Kwai here. In this video, we're going to be going through LinkedIn Sales Navigator, and I'll be covering how I go about doing my prospecting. I won't go as deep as actually extracting the emails out there, but I'll be using LinkedIn Sales Navigator to show you uh, how we can go about finding the right prospects for your business. So let's go check it out. So once I've logged into LinkedIn Sales Navigator, uh, so I just click on the icon there and it just loads up. So LinkedIn has got a separate section called uh, Sales Navigator. So this is what it looks like. So on the area here, this is all the um, people that I automatically follow and it just shows the different um, you know updates that these people are going through. So first and foremost, there's a, uh, there's tabs here. So you've got the account list. I'll go through these a bit later on. So lead lists, messaging, and then you've got admin as well, okay? So I won't be going through all of these, but what I wanna focus on is the lead list. So for example, let's say that I'm looking for uh, managing directors in mining companies in Sydney. So what I'm going to do is I wanna to go to my lead list, okay? I wanna create a new lead list. So let's call this list of leads. It's actually not leads, it's actually just prospects. They should call it prospects, but anyway. Um, so I wanna call this uh, managing directors in mining, mining, okay, uh, September 11. So just put a date there so you know what's going on. Uh, this contains a list of all my prospects uh, in the mining mining industry. Okay. Now it could be different. You could be targeting dentists, whoever it is, right? But you get the you get the concept. Go create there. Fantastic. So I've created a new empty uh, prospect list. Okay. There's no leads in there. So the next thing we want to do is we want to create some leads. Okay. So next thing you do, I'm going to go back to home, search for leads. So this is what I do. So go managing, um, type in managing, oh, so just, just put down uh, mining, right? Because we're targeting, we're targeting the, um, we're targeting that industry. So just type in mining, right? And here's the results of all the people that is relating to mining. Okay, so right, right now it's just, there's three, three million results there. Okay, so that's fantastic. But we don't, we don't want to be targeting everyone. So we've got a general manager here. We've got a group manager, uh, vice president, director. You know, these people look okay, but they're not exactly, not everyone on this list is going to be someone you want to contact. So group ICT manager, that's an IT person. Still a manager though, but it's an IT person. So if you want to be sending out a message to these people, you want to be making sure that you're getting the right people. So so then the keywords here is that um, you can, this is the part that you really need to get is you need to start filtering this list. So I'll put down Australia. So in geography, you want to target Australia, right? Or the country that you're focusing on. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, you can go according to region or postcode, whatever it is, the relationship. Um, this is where you can pick the people who uh, is being showed. Is it the first degree connection, second degree? So whether it's the first person that's shown or it's a person of a person, right? So it's up to you. I just usually that blank company uh, if you really want to target a company you can but i just leave it okay industry so this is very important so i want to put down mining and metals okay so i'm targeting a particular industry which is really good okay so now it's refining my list down to before it was 3 million results now it's 190k cool uh seniority levels so this is very important so let's go for director i'm looking for directors I say, okay, so I'm clicking on directors. So now it's giving me a list of all the directors in mining materials within Australia. Okay, function, what's function? Um, oh yeah, the function is whether they're dealing in business development, education. Just leave the functions alone since we're dealing with directors. Title, um, now this is where, are they a current, are they currently a director of a mining company or the past, were they, you know, a, a director of mining company? So let's go for people who are currently active in mining. Okay, uh, what else is there? And that's pretty much it. You can refine this list as you go along, but uh, this is the basic way in which I, um, you know, um, I create my list. So there's my list of warm prospects. How good is that? Man, I love Sales Navigator, it's so good. Uh, okay, so I wanna save this search. Okay, oops. Um, uh, you wanna, now this, this, this is what you do, right? So what I do is I want to select all these people. Okay. Now I've selected all these people. Now it's been paginated, paginated, is that how you pronounce it? Paginated down to, um, I think it's 25 people on the list. 
25 people on the, per page okay so select these 25 people I want to add to the list and I want to chuck it in that list that I created before remember that list that I created at the start so it's managing directors in mining click on that one there and now it's in the list so you notice how it's got saved there save save okay so it's not viewing their content yet but we just want to chuck them all in there yet and, and we're going to work on these guys later on let's go for another page okay so it's giving me another list select all add to list okay so notice that there's a number there 25 means there's 25 people in that list there select it there so now I've got another 25 in there so now I've got 50 people on that list so I obviously I won't go through all of them there's quite a lot of people so I'm just going to work with these 50 people for now okay so if I go to lead list click on managing directors in mining this is my lead list okay fantastic so now I've got a whole list of prospects that it's in the list right now okay so what I tend to do now is I will just go through the list and I'll just get rid of people who I don't feel is uh, relevant to my marketing campaign because um, sometimes LinkedIn stuffs up like they they will give you just random people that just do not belong I don't know why but you just you really have to filter it yourself so director of mining talent okay looks good looks good looks good this person doesn't have a doesn't have a um, description so I don't know what's happening this could be in you know I don't know what's happening so click on there directing mining okay um, this person's a mining mining engineer he's an engineer I don't know director of mining engineer maybe um, so this person I set up my okay so this person's an obviously director so that's good this person is a representative mentor so let's have a look Anthony short click on this person there he's a mentor executive chairman you know what this person doesn't look like the right fit he looks like he's, he's just a rep he's a mentor so I'm gonna get rid of that guy select them and then remove okay so remove from list okay so that's what you want to do you want to go through your list spend a few minutes just going through your list and just like just cleaning up your list you know um, because you don't want to be sending out a message to these guys and then you're finding out I get these all the time because I just didn't clean it properly but you get a um, a message from these people saying oh, unfortunately I don't work for that company anymore I, I unfortunately I'm not a director I'm actually a director of IT or you know it, it's really embarrassing so you want to do that but you want to just quickly just go through and just scan 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 and then just get rid of the obvious ones and then might want to do another rinse over just to make sure that you cleaned out your list so sales director obviously we're not targeting those guys because I'm a sales director myself man head of automation we're not uh, research director is not important uh, executive direct mining director so that looks okay so you get the idea right so you want to go through and um, just clean your list do another one just quickly go through one more time just go through director director you know go through make sure that the people that you're looking at is is good go through the account so if you click on the account you know um, sometimes uh, you click on the account and you just quickly look at the company so human resources okay is the product that you're offering um, catered so sometimes if you're working for a company or if you have a company that's selling a product or service like is is that product going to be relevant for the services industry or products industry so you have to think about that as well so if I go to account this one's a government administration if I click on that one mining and metals okay so that's in the right industry sometimes if you're not it, it, you don't want to be targeting a particular industry right so it's really completely up to you not yet these guys are in telecommunications is your product service matching telecommunications you know yes or no right so uh, let's say that you are selling telecommunication devices for mining companies but this person is in telecommunications already Will this person be valuable or not it's up to you so go through once again make sure that they're in the right industry uh, just make sure that LinkedIn hasn't stuffed anything up right and then also you want to look at geography if you're targeting the right geography if that's okay I didn't I didn't do anything with my notes or outreach activity but um, you know that's pretty much what I do there okay and then therefore that's that's it so you cleaned your list here it is here's your hit list okay now with the uh, with LinkedIn sales navigator you are you given about 40 uh, LinkedIn messages per per month so I can go out there and I can message these people individually so I click on there click on message and I start communicating with these guys okay now obviously 40 is how many you get per month but I've got 50 here and uh, you can do that as part of your outreach strategy you reach out to each of these people per month and therefore you've got your outreach messages messages but if you want to go advanced what I tend to do is I use a third-party software that goes throughout this entire list that I've saved here 
it scrapes the emails and I do an email blast to all these people that to that list as well now that's obviously a, uh, another video but that's something that that you can also do too so that's it that's all you need to do with LinkedIn sales navigator I absolutely love LinkedIn sales navigator because it gives me a list of businesses it gives me a list of business owners and if your business is business to business b2b this is a valuable tool as a sales guy and you can go out there you reach people and it's absolutely amazing and it works it absolutely works um i was able to get business from linkedin sales navigator and i'm spending about 100 bucks per month at the moment the price has gone up a bit more i think but it's 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 so useful it's it's absolutely worth every penny so um hope this helps uh, in terms of your prospecting for linkedin uh, go check out LinkedIn Sales Navigator. Go play around with it. Just start with a small list. Just start with a list of 10 people. Just reach out to these 10 people and see whether you get a response. If you get a response, you, you're going to become addicted and you're going to be like, oh, what else can I do? So another tip I would like to give you is that you should always be prospecting every single day. Make sure you prospect every single day because um, that's the most important thing because you, if you don't prospect every single day, three months time, your pipeline is going to be weak. You want to keep a full pipeline. So keep prospecting every single day and mix it with cold calling, LinkedIn, email outbound, whatever it is. Okay, so there it is. So um, hope you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next one. Cheers.